Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ben Robinson, and this is the Coast to Coast Sports Show. You're watching the Coast to Coast Sports Show. today's show with a fit tip. Considering our recent pandemic, I felt it necessary to bring a piece to you about financial literacy. In weeks to come, we have an accountant that's going to be joining us to talk about the play-by-play -play analysis on how the government is breaking it down and how to navigate your way through it. So make sure to stay with us so that you could check out strategy. But speaking of strategy, check out this strategy performed by Canadian Cheer. Welcome, PCT Temptation! Let's pump it up on the new spot. staycation from my block to your block check out this terrific clip from western canadian bowling tour
Make the final. Tyler Titcat versus Dexter Wiseman. Our first and second qualifier of the top four that qualified. They finished 1-2 in our six game roll off. Uh, both great competitors, uh, both very young gentlemen. I'm sure in many years to come, myself and yourself as proud Albertans, we will see these two gentlemen represent our province very well as teammates. Uh, good luck to both of you gentlemen. I'm sure you're gonna give us a great match. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it guys. Let's have a great time. Well, Okay, here. This could get a... Tyler throws a strike here. This could put a huge stranglehold on the match already. Well, it would, it would be 5-1. And huge lead on pinch off. One ball, Ty, one ball. Just so people know, if they tie 5-5, five, five, it uh, goes down to the pinball score. If it ties after that, we're not going to worry about that right now. That's five now for Tyler. Looks like he's, uh, he's really zoned in. Oh, big time. He's gonna, he might shoot a thousand triple here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Bye, Great kid, though. When you look at it, uh, where did these gentlemen finish when they played in Heritage here? How did they do uh, in the uh, tournament? I think we have those somewhere. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. So, in the tradition. Yeah, not. Dexter didn't actually qualify for the traditional. No. Tyler did, I think Tyler. Yes, Tyler did qualify. So he made the cut, yeah. yeah. Dexter didn't. I can't remember where Tyler finished. I think he was in the final eight. Okay. So, yeah. Oop, that one got away from him a little bit. Gives Dexter a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. You can't even have a chance. It's worth a lot of jump. The toughest thing too right now is like we've all been, it's been a long day. We've been here since 8.30 in the morning. These guys are grinding. Mm -hmm. Now it's like the war of attrition. Who's going to find that little extra? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So Dexter needs 10 or better to win the frame. Oh, should be able to handle that. But he's got to claim back his pinfall though. So he needs a, he need, he needs a spare. Oh, he wins this. He gets wins that this frame. frame. So 5 2 now. 5 2. 5. He's in a position where. He's running out of room. He cleans up. He's got 149 and seven with 135 left. Not a possibility. Of 284. 284. Right. Tyler would have to go 10, 10, 10. Well, if he if he went 15, 15, 15, 258. Yeah. Yeah, it's still. Good. Dexter can't afford any mistakes. Oh, we got a split. Oh. I think that was a split. Did he get a kickback? No. Oh, he's in a world of hurt now. He's got to clean this up. And mm -hmm. Hopefully gets another gift. Yeah. Yeah. Tough too because he's so likable. Well, that's the, <laughs> maybe that's his secret weapon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think his biggest secret weapon is his abilities. He's damn good. Yeah. <laughs> to strike to win you know, the WCBT uh, championship. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? This is a real feather in his cap to win the adult in a situation like this. Uh, he still got. A few more years left of uh, what we'll see. Oh, he got a kickback, took a seven. Right. Uh, this year was a tough year for him because he was looking at going to represent the province. And uh, him and his partner 
actually just struggled a little bit, started punching a little too much, and unfortunately they didn't win. You know? yeah, sometimes that's good for people too. They don't. They don't. Pardon me. It's good for younger guys too, because I found in the younger game, there's been, and not just in Alberta, like all across, there's been that that one young bowler, like Sam, would be an example. Like he's so good and has never lost. Like these guys haven't really lost that much. Yeah. So it's good for their development oh, it, 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 to it, see how they like can said, deal with that. Oh, sure. It's like you said. It's, it's not always you know, anybody can win. It's learning how to accept loss and then going through that. that learning from that learning experience. Learning from that experience. You learn more from losing than you do from winning. You know. Um, prime example. Uh, how many guys are playing at this level that? Uh, that that are winning that never did anything in IBC. Well, I did my last year, but that was you about did. it. But you know what? There's you look at Kerry, Kerry Kreitz, for example. Never won anything in IBC, but yet he's one of the very Shocker oh. Dexter. Oh, stays in it. Oh, but he's one of the very profound uh, players in the game, right? Um, no. I'm thinking. Yeah, it's basically done. Pinball. That's the problem. Yeah, he I think can't, you can't catch him. Well. No, he can't. Well, through the hole him. or something. Barring Barring him. I don't want to wow. say it, a pull of Miller, but. <laughs> Sorry, Miller. Wow. I love you guys. <laughs> well, you know what? That, that, that's a very tragic situation. That's something Mark, Mark will learn from that, though. I told him, I'm like, hey man, it, it's tough, I know. It's gonna take a bit to get over that, but, but you played really well. You won last night and you did pretty good. Yeah. Well, you know what? I remember when we were at uh, TSN, I had a run of, uh, I had 10 head pins in one game. Started with a trap on. Nine variations of head pin. Spared the ninth one in the 10th game and threw a 10th one. Started the next game, head pin spread, aces and head pin and then they got it, and they ended up leaving the Mike Jackson, a good friend of mine, in a 15 game, total pinfall. It happens. Okay, so Tyler needs a uh, 30 count to, 30 count to, to tie, to tie yeah. and uh, the double to win all the frames. To win all the frames. Yeah. So Dexter takes the last three frames. Yep. Wow. That ended up being pretty close. Five five. What's that? Suspenseful five five. It's okay, Ty. It's okay. Tyler Tipcat is our 2017-2018 uh, WCBT champion. Yeah. Gets to put it on uh, on the on the trophy. Two away from the age of 17. Good job, guys. Great foul. Nice going, Tyler. Congratulations. Congratulations, Tyler. Wow. What a day, guys. What a day. Awesome bowling, guys. Tyler, you just shot probably 940 for three games. Like, unreal. <laughs> Threw some clutch shots. Every time a guy threw a shot at you, threw a back, double back at him. Like unreal bowling, man. Like, Thank you. What do you have to say? Like, uh, like, uh, you you happy that you're beside your brother on the trophy now? Yeah, I wish mine was first though. But you know, it's okay. Uh, I'm there, and I it, I really feel like I earned it. So that that feels good inside. Um, again, respect to all the competitors. Dexter had a great game. Just unfortunately didn't get the breaks when he needed it, but. Uh, it was a lot of fun to play, and I'm I'm proud of myself, and I'm proud of the sport. So yeah, I'm proud of you too, man. And I'm th I, I just want to say thanks for writing an article in my magazine and everything. So <laughs> I really appreciate all your work and all your efforts, and you're going to be a staple in this game for a very long time. So Thank congratulations. Thank you very much. My staycation is a hoop holiday. 
I'm so happy to be able to bring you this footage provided to you by the National Basketball League of Canada. Definitely something you don't want to miss. So stay tuned. The Halifax Hurricanes travel to Kitchener-Waterloo to take on the Titans on Sunday night. Let's pick this one up in the second quarter. Hurricanes down six when Chris Johnson drives and flips it up and in. Later in the quarter, Antoine Mason is going to take it in himself, gets the hoop to go plus the harm. Third quarter now, and the Titans get things under control. First, it's Damon Lynn who hits the triple. Then in the fourth, nice dish inside from Moss as he gets it to go off glass. And then it's Horton who hits Tater with the bounce pass who does the rest and one. The Titans win this game at home, 117-102, the final. Today's program brought to you by Eliminator RC. Proud to be part of your community. Fit tip, we want to hear about it. Hey everyone, it's Vin Robinson back with another Fit Tip moment. We're here today at Fluid Float Studios at Studio 6581 Gary Street. The reason we're here today is a funny but true story. I may have never tried this before in my life, but with all of this healing and process that we're going through, we need to come check out this place. And the reason why I did it is because it was referred to me by someone very special, Lawrence Fishburne. So, Come and check this out and see what all the hype is all about. So many things to do here. Got my music going. I could change the colors of the lights. But now it's time for some deprivation. So we'll catch you guys next time on Fit Tip. Wow. That mineral bath made me feel amazing. Completely rejuvenated. Definitely got to come back here and check this out next time. You know what's going to bring me back here? That's right. Date night. So you'll be seeing us next time 
right here. Fit tip, we want to hear about it. Simply log on to coasttocoastsports.net under contact us tab to book. Health and wellness, making life better one day at a time. Well, that's our show. Until next time, stay safe from coast to coast, sea to sea. Let's head to the king of the Canadian Indie Battle Royal. Here are the rules. Over the top rope, feet touch the floor, you're gone. 15 independent stars from all over North America, but mostly Canada. The winner is awarded a one-year contract with Action Wrestling Entertainment and deemed the title of king of the Canadian Indies. And not only are these 15 independent stars, are 15 independent stars not associated with World Wrestling Entertainment or total non-stop action. Oh, I like working for the NWA. And it's on! Here we go. And Corey Diamond, the Axe is... I'm gonna tell you, I saw the odds and they said Axe was two to one, I think. Jerry Rose, three to five to one. Throw those odds out, although we thank the Kayfabe Casino for coming up with them. Well, I have to tell sponsor. you, if you're gonna go by experience here, you gotta go by the hairline. Hairline it is. That means you've been around a couple years, you're balding, it means you're obviously in your mid-30s. So you know your way so around the block. So what you're saying, what you're saying is the big O, even though he weighs 108 pounds, he's, is, uh, he's a favorite. Well, I, there he is, right yeah, there. You can tell he's it, a favorite through that hairline. Well, yeah, that's the uh, that's the rogue game treatment just holding on there. The axe is a favorite. I can tell you this guy here from Iowa with the red pants, you can just see his knee pads there. Not a favorite. Not a favorite in my opinion. He's got a full head of hair. Gator McGraw, actually, if you can see there, I think he shaves it on the sides, but up top is a weird hairline. But we're not just going to talk about hairlines here. Let's talk about this fine independent wrestling action. The winner of this of this battle royal is a one-year contract with AWE. And you know what the funniest part is? I don't think they've read the fine print of the offer sheet that they received to, to take part in this match. The one-year contract just gets you on the show. There's things you have to do as king of the Canadian Indies. You still have to set up the ring. You still have to set up the chairs. You gotta trans yourself to the show. You gotta drive three or four wrestlers. You gotta carry bags. And at the end of the night when you go, uh, hey. Psycho Banger Jaron Rouse. Psycho Banger Jaron Rouse has been eliminated. Psycho Banger is one of the top draws in all of Canada right now. And, and I gotta and tell you, let me get back to the king of the Canadian Indies. And it won't be Jaron Rose, unfortunately. But let me say, Here's the deal. At the end of the night, you walk up the promoter, you say, uh, is there any pay? The promoter looks at you and says, not for you, buddy. You're the king of the Canadian Indies. You're kind of, you know, struggling to get by. So maybe it's not so bad that Jared Rose didn't win the Battle Royal. Well, there's the flip side. Because that means, like, uh, the smaller promotions that run in, like, community clubs in, in smaller places maybe will book you because you've been on TV. That's true. AJ Sanchez asking for a timeout. There's you no don't timeout. Get a timeout. This is a battle royal. It's go Gibby time, AJ Sanchez. How much do you think Gibby Guerrero weighs? Uh, buck five? I, I said big old weighed a buck eight, so maybe about a buck five. Okay, now Gibby is probably not going to win this. Look at Billy Blaze picking on him. Bill Blaze, obviously about 200 pounds heavier than, than Gibby Guerrero, picking on him like a bully in there. And, and the Punisher, Rob James. Thank you, you got that right. He, he wants to get it over. We're going to do our best to get it over. And look at him come back. Like the big O cutting him off. Big O's true. bad for that. Uh, ooh, uh, we're uh, not sure. He's from Iowa. Uh, he's a tag team, obviously. They had matching matching gear. Matching gear. So maybe they're brothers. Maybe There's brothers. Danny Duggan working over AJ Dynamite Sanchez. Dynamite Danny Duggan. Kind of scraping the face off of AJ Sanchez. A long Sanchez. shot to win this, but look at that. Those don't look very pretty. He knows he's how to lucky get it done. He's lucky he's not very good looking, AJ Sanchez. When he looks in the mirror, a couple of boots to the face might even make a, an improvement or two. It might. There's Kenny Chevy. Hard shop on Corey Diamond. Corey Diamond reminds me of me when I used to wrestle. He even looks like me a little bit. Corey Diamond, he wants to win this contract. He's got three kids at home. He's trying to support. Did I, I just saw something there, and if you're watching this at home, hit rewind. Corey Diamond dropped to his back, and I think he nodded Kevin Chevy, which, of course, is an illegal shot to the midsection, if you're wondering what nutted means. 
Like I said, Corey Diamond's got three kids at home he's trying to support. This means a lot to him to be a star. It means more money will be coming in for the family. This Not means really, a lot. really, though, because it didn't cost you when you win this thing. It, it Rick does. Matthews. The Punisher Rob James. Gone. He, he won't be doing any punishing in AWE by the looks of it. Well, they're going to have to wait a year, and that's if promoters of AWE decide to do the King of the Canadian Indie Battle Royal Part 2. I got to tell you, like, I, I like this. This is innovative. This is saying, hey, you want to try out? We're not going to give you a singles match. We're not going to give you a tag match. But hey, you know what? We're going to give 15 of you guys one shot for a one-year contract. And, you know, I, I got to take my hat off to the matchmakers here, Andy Anderson and Stan Saxon, for putting this one together. It is a very unique concept, one I'm looking forward to seeing year after year here at AWE. Well, I don't know, because I'll tell you, Stan Saxon is a stickler for quality, and I have a, I have a feeling he might not... He might not he might not bring these guys back. Are, are you saying Evan Inferno is equality? Evan Inferno, you know what, he looks very good. He's the type of guy that probably, you know, he's 20 pounds from probably getting a job here. Just like Danny Duggan, just like the big old. Brady Roberts trying to get the rib. Oh, oh, baseball oh, slide oh, to the stomach. Right to the ribs, and you can tell by the you can tell that. That hurts. That hurt. He's not even moving down there. But you know what I noticed there was the big O seemed poised to take this guy out. Big O wanted the spots. There's Corey Diamond, gone! Corey Diamond might have pulled a groin there, he and that's not done. a pretty injury to have. What's, what's Danny, Danny Douglas saying he's trying to rally the troops? He's kind of stopping people. Well, what's what's he doing? He's, he's pointing at the axe. What's Danny Duggan doing? He's what color of hair is that on the axe? It's kind of like a yellowish, greenish. They, they, they have rallied the troops. It looks like he's got moss growing on the top of his head, actually, if you think about it. You know that off-colored yellow moss you see on some trees never mind moss it looks like he's not going to be in the match and he just pushed 12 guys off of him they should have done that first thing don't you think oh goes bill blaze bill Go blaze hurt himself bill blaze knew he was in trouble he tried to oh no off the top rope and try to hold on jump in joey blitz, <laughs> joey he, blitz. he's gonna be and he's gone he's oh gone. and he went head first oh, i he saw it he bounced off, off. I, that's not funny at all that's a that's an insurance liability concern and, and John Marion. And he's trying to hold on for dear John life. Marriott. Pushing his weight down to his ass. He doesn't want to go. He's trying to... No, God. Look at that. He knew, too. He bailed. His underwear was showing. He was in serious trouble. He couldn't save himself. Oh, no. Gibby Guerrero. Gibby Guerrero. Gibby. Gibby Guerrero. There's no hope at this point, Gibby. You might as well... Now you're just hoping you... There you go. You're hoping you land safely. I'm having safely. a hard time keeping a straight face. <laughs> the looks on these... And a double oh, spine buster. And, and now that, that's, that's not Danny, funny. That's the end of Danny, Danny Duggan. Danny Duggan is, they should toss him the right now. The big sexy beast. Sanchez just pulls right his partner. What are you doing? Room. You do that last, you fool. Now you're in there against everyone. AJ Sanchez needed to hold on for another five to seven minutes. Rick Matthews going right and, at the axe. Chevy now. returns the favor. He, he pulls AJ Sanchez what over the top rope. Jerk. Now why why wouldn't here. you want your partner to get the contract? He might get it. He might be able to pull strings and make it a tag team. Oh no! Deal. The Big O. Oh, oh no! no. Oh. Big O is in serious trouble. You see that patch of hair? It's falling out on him. And he knocks over six guys. The Big O. And the fans are loving it. And out goes the axe. I did not think that would happen. I thought the axe was a shoe in the win. Gator McGraw and Rick Matthews. The fusion. Gator McGraw is really impressive. I have to say, Gator McGraw is the favorite here. And we went by hairlines earlier. Rick Matthews doesn't have a single hair on his head. I, I, I was having a hard time keeping a straight face. I thought it was kind of funny that guys were being tossed out of the ring. But now it's getting serious. We're down to the, we're down to the final gone. two. The final two. Gator from Wisconsin or Minneapolis or somewhere in the northern states is gone. Now here we go. Rick Matthews, Danny Duggan. Danny Duggan is a very, very, almost, I think he's almost like an anorexic, if you will. Like, he's, a, he's a very smart, he's, he's, he's barely post-pubescent as well. He's maybe 17, 18, 16 years old. And here we go. He's ducking under Rick Matthews' clothesline, going for a flag, has his and on his oh, face! Ow, 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 oh, that hurts. Bye, bye, good night, Danny Duggan.